Hello and welcome to another RPG Maker VX Ace tutorial with me Toby. So today I'm showing you how to do a day and night cycle uh, as well as random weather effects that happen during the day and during the night. So I've got myself a little island here that I've made. The player starts off, he's got off his raft and what we want to do is go to the event tab this little blue man here then we're gonna make an event called day night cycle so this is really easy to do right first of all you want to have uh, a period of time where you want it to stay day so I've got the character starting in the middle of the day so I'm gonna make him wait 999 frames so it's this game runs uh, 60 frames a second so we're going to make him, make him wait 999 frames if you want him to wait longer than that just do another wait command um, and choose how many frames you want I think 999 is the maximum for each individual wait command so when you've done that we want to tint the screen using the tint screen uh, command in the event window and we're going to click dark so what that's going to do is going to that's just going to change the screen from the normal daylight to a darker tint and at this point I've got a switch called nighttime so I'll show you why I've done that in a moment but don't worry about that for now then I've got it waiting another 999 frames and then it's going to be officially night time so at that point I want to fade out my background music because it's quite a chirpy sort of dun -dun 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 -dun. but I don't want that at night I want the ambient sounds of the waves at night so basically I've just used the fade out background music command so it's fading out for five seconds and then another tint screen and this time I've clicked night and then this at this point it's night time so we're going to wait 999 frames again and then at that point we're going to tint it back to dark and then click OK so then so basically you've gone from daytime it's slowly getting darker then it's night time and then it starts to get lighter again so and then before it's completely like officially daytime we're going to wait another 999 frames and then we're going to play our background music again so this is exactly the same as what the map is already playing the same volume the same tone and, and pitch and everything so you want to keep it to the same so it's not jarring like it's not a totally different sound to what it was when you first entered the map and then uh, at that point it's not night time anymore so then we turn the night time switch off and then we tint the screen back to normal for daytime and then because I want daytime to last uh, twice as long because there's no in in between like where it starts to get lighter and starts to get darker um, I'm gonna do two wait commands of 999 frames which is this one here and because it's a parallel process it will start the event over again from the top so that's going to run over and over and over and it's going to make it go day, slightly darker, night, slightly lighter again and then day and again that will just keep rotating over and over. So now I'm going to explain to you um, why I've got nighttime switch on and off. That's because I've got a um, a weather variable system or weather randomer right randomizer system so what I'm doing here this event is the randomizer and the other event will be what actual weather effects happen so with the randomizer basically this changes the frequency in which um, the weather changes so the player enters the map it waits 500 frames then it sets a variable I've just called it weather uh, between random between 1 and 6 so as you can see here weather variable set random 1 and 6 you can have however many different types of weather you like and then again I've got it waiting 999 frames this time then it changes the weather again 
then 750 frames and it changes the weather again and then it repeats because it's a parallel process. Now the reason I've done 500 frames, 999 frames and 750 frames is because I want the weather to change um, at different rates. I don't want it to be a consistent amount of time between each weather change because otherwise the weather will become predictable and we'll know that weather is not predictable. <clears throat> Okay, so you can have that, um, basically you can do it as many times as you like if you want it to be really, really random. Right, so then we've got the actual weather. So I've named this event weather, again, parallel process. All these events here are parallel process. You don't want auto run because that will interrupt other events and it might end up freezing your game. Uh, so all we've got in this event is conditional branches and each conditional branch is if the variable weather is equal to so in this case if it's equal to one then we set the weather effects to none because I don't want any weather effects for that one also I've got a raised picture one I'll explain that in a moment uh, so if the variable is two then it's going to be raining so I've done set weather effects rain if it's going to be free then it's storming so basically heavier rain on four I've got some sunlight so it's a particularly sunny uh, the sun's come out so how do we create that effect well what you want to do is um, you want to go to your resource manager and go scroll down to pictures click import and then you'll find an image um, you can google RPG maker um, sunlight image or something along those lines or you can make your own um, basically it's just an image that's um, a PNG you've got some light in the top left uh, you import that as a picture so then when you go to your weather event you can show that picture when you want it to be sunny and you want it to be in the upper left corner um, position X and Y as zero I've done the opacity as 100% because um, I feel that the uh, it starts on 255% I think or 250% basically it's really strong and really bright if you do that and I just want it to be slightly uh, slightly transparent so it's not quite as bright so I've done that as 100 obviously make sure your picture graphic is your sunlight and just name it as one okay uh, so and the reason why I, on these other ones I've got a raised picture is because you don't want this picture to be showing if it's raining or if there's no sunlight so on each other one that has not got sunlight you want to make sure you erase picture one because that's what we set this picture as picture one because if you don't do that then it will be raining but there will also be sunlight beaming in the top left corner uh, so number five I've got zero weather effects again and number six I've got more sunlight so basically that's just that means that um, there's two two chances out of six that it will be sunny there will be three chances out of six that it will be zero like plain weather and two chances it's going to be raining or storming so now we come to the point of why did I have a nighttime switch? Well, that's because obviously you can't have sunlight if it's nighttime. Uh, so you don't want sunlight to be showing when it's nighttime. So you want to create another page within your weather event, and you basically want to copy and paste all of this conditional branch that you've got here uh, onto your second page, but then you want to remove any of the ones with. Uh, show sunlight, uh, show picture because obviously there's no sunlight if there's no picture. You can have it so there's more rain at night time if you like, make it a bit more at atmospheric at night time. Just uh, basically copy and paste your effects rain or set weather effects rain into the different variables you've got here. Um, also, I'm going to mention that on your conditional branch, uh, you can set your variable weather is equal to constant 1, then the next one will be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But make sure you have this 
box here unchecked because when you when you create a conditional branch um, this will be automatically ticked uh, basically getting rid of that gets rid of if this happens then something else will happen so it just tidies it up makes it look neater um, so basically that's going to be nice and neat and wrapped up so if this variable equals one then this if not then it will move down to the next one blah 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 so I think enough chit chat I'll show you what that this looks like in action okay so here we are on the island I'm just gonna wander around for a bit until the time of day or the weather changes So I feel that by now we would have had some rain, so obviously it's changed to zero weather effects. Uh, the nighttime cycle has started, it's started to get a little bit darker. And now it's officially nighttime and the background music is fading out. And you've got the lovely sound of the waves in the background. now it starts to rain it gets a little bit darker when it's raining because it's more overcast and cloudy now we're back to um, the slightly getting lighter uh, it's not n not officially night time anymore and now we're back to daytime I believe no, now we're back to daytime there we go and we've got some sunlight as well so that's cool And the cycle will just repeat like that. So if you want your day and night cycles to be longer, then obviously just add in more wait commands with longer amounts of frames. Or take the number of frames away if you want them to be shorter. Now the only problem with doing your rain uh, or storm effects in this particular manner is that when it's raining um, you can't hear the sound of the rain because if you change the background uh, background sounds to rain then it will overwrite the sound of the waves if you if you didn't have any other background sounds already playing then that would be fine um, but you'd have to make sure that on each time you uh, your weather changed to a different type of weather that you'd have to turn off the rain sound effect. So I'm just going to shut that down. I'll quickly show you how to do that. So if you don't have the background sound of the ocean waves um, and it's just plain then when it's raining you want to do um, play background sounds click rain or storm probably tone it down slightly so you can still hear the music that's pretty good so then you need to click OK so then when it's raining it will play the background sound um, but obviously if it's not raining anymore you want to click uh, stop or fade out background sound probably change that to like two seconds or something because you don't want it to fade out too long if there's no rain on the screen and do that for your storm as well and then just copy and paste your fade out background sounds and put that on all the other events um, and that's as simple as that um, but as I said the reason I haven't done that is because I've got my ocean waves and I want to be able to hear those at night time when there's no music playing because if you do fade out background sound then it will get rid of the waves as well as the sound of the rain and it will just be silent. So that's the end of the tutorial so if you have any questions um, or anything you want to ask me about different uh, tutorials or things you need help with leave them in the comments below and thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.